Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix no boot devices available error in Windows 10 or 11. But before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on your videos about your problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Check your hardware connections. Like turn off your computer and unplug it from the power source. Then open a computer case or access the area where a hard drive or SSD is located. Then carefully inspect the data and power cables connected to your boot drive. Then reattach them securely. After that, reassemble the computer and plug it back in. Then just simply power on a computer and check if the error has been resolved or not. Number 2. Hard reset your computer. For this, hold the power button down until no power is present if it's not the system is powered. Then, whenever your laptop is attached to any external devices, just unplug them. Then, remove the battery from the battery compartment after unplugging the power cord. Then, hold the power button for the 15 seconds. You'll see the power light momentarily blink. Now that the power cord has been reconnected, just simply switch on your system. Number 3. Perform Windows Startup Repair For this, if a computer is in the preparing automatic repair loop, forcefully shut it down by holding the power button, then turn it back on. As Windows 10 or 11 starts to load, interrupt the boot sequence by pressing the power button again while the Windows logo is displayed. Do this 3 times in a row to trigger the Windows recovery environment. After that, in the Advanced Startup option, select Troubleshoot. Then under Troubleshoot, click Advanced Options. Number 4. Reset Hard Drive For this, to shut off the computer, briefly press the power button. After that, cut the power cord off and reconnect the hard drive now that it is disconnected. After that, to check if everything functions smoothly, reassemble the computer and run it again. Number 5. Update your BIOS For this, visit your motherboard manufacturer's website and download the latest BIOS slash UEFI update for a specific model. After that, just follow the manufacturer's instruction to update your BIOS slash UEFI. But be cautious during this process, as incorrect updates can potentially damage your motherboard. Number 6. Rebuild the Master Boot Record or MBR For this, insert your Windows 10 installation media and boot from it as described in the previous step. After that, choose Repair Computer, then troubleshoot and select Advanced Options. After that, from there, select Command Prompt. Then in the Command Prompt window, type the following commands and press Enter after each command. After running these commands, follow any on-screen prompts. Then just simply restart a computer without the installation media and check if the error is resolved or not. Number 7. Windows Update For this, press Windows plus I key to open the Windows settings. Then click on Update and Security. After that, in the Update and Security window, click on Windows Update in the left hand side menu. Then click on Check for Updates and let Windows search for any available updates and automatically install them. After the updates are installed, just simply reset the computer and check if the function is working correctly or not. Number 8. Run chkdsk to check errors. For this, open Start, search for command prompt, right click the top result and select the Run as an insert option. After that, from there, type chkdsk slash f c and press enter. Make sure to replace c with the letter of the drive you want to check if it's not a system drive. Then press y when prompted to schedule the disk check on the next restart. Then just simply restart your PC. Number 9. Replace hard drive. It's time to confront the harsh reality if you're having trouble fixing the boot device not detect XP issue. It will be necessary for you to reinstall Windows and replace system components like the hard drive. 